ओके रैंक रिलेशन कोफिशेंट सो स्पियरमैंस स्पियरमैंस रैंक रिलेशन कोफिशेंट सो द फॉर्मूला इज रो इज इक्वल टू वन माइनस सिक्स इनटू समीशन ऑफ डी स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाय एन इनटू एन स्क्वायर माइनस वन वेर d is equal to x i minus y i, so where i is equal to one, two, two n. So here n is the number of pairs, d is nothing but x and y i. Okay. Now we can. So it is x and it is y. So first of all, we have to calculate the d. So d is nothing but two minus three, it is minus one. Three minus two, it is one. Four minus one. It is three. Okay, four minus one. It is three. One minus four. It is three. Minus three. D square is one one nine nine. Okay, and the summation of D square is twenty. So rho is equal to one minus six into twenty divided by n. What is the number of data? One two three four four into four square minus one. Okay, so the answer is six into twenty-four. It is answer is minus one. Okay, so that means they are negatively correlated. Four. Similarly, so what is d value? D is nothing but x minus y. So two minus three it is minus one. Three minus two it is one. Four minus four zero. One minus one zero. Okay. So d square, it is one one zero zero. Summation of d square, it is two. Okay. So the formula is one minus six into two divided by four into four square minus one. Okay. And the answer is zero point eight. Okay. So correlation coefficient between x and y is zero point eight for this particular data. It is minus one for this particular data. Okay, so it is negatively correlated, perfectly negative. It is positively correlated, and strong correlation is there between x and y. Okay, so here these are not the numbers; these are the ranks. Okay, now suppose we have numbers and we have to convert. We have numbers and we want to apply rank correlation coefficient. So we have to first convert this number to rank. Suppose we have numbers, say twenty, thirty, forty-six, and eleven, thirty-nine, twenty-three, ten, and forty-two. So first of all, you have to convert this into rank. So maximum data it is rank one, then it is rank two, then Rank three, then minimum number is four. Similarly, maximum is forty-two. Rank one, then rank two, then rank three, then rank four. So X and Y, and then we can simply we can apply the this particular formula. Okay, then we can apply this particular formula. Okay, so here we are converting number to rank. So maximum number forty-six, rank one. So the next value is thirty. So rank two. Then twenty rank three eleven rank four. Okay, so here maximum is forty two. That's why rank one. Next lower value is thirty nine rank two and so on. Okay, now the thing is, if what if the repeated numbers are there? Okay, suppose we have number say nine say twenty three twenty five twenty five thirty six. Thirty-eight, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, ninety. Okay, so how to convert this into rank? So the first rank, second rank. So these are the third and fourth. So we have to take average of that. Three plus four is three point five. So rank three point five, three point five. The next rank will be the five, fifth one. So this will be the fifth rank. Okay, so here. We don't have fourth rank and third rank, so three and fourth we don't have. We just take the average of these two. Next is five. Next is should be the six, seven, eight. So we have to so all 
six and seven so both are same so it just take average of six point seven so it is six point five six point five and it is nothing but eight okay now we can we can uh, just take another example say ninety eight ninety seven ninety seven ninety seven ninety six ninety six ninety five ninety two ninety how to convert this number to rank so it is called repeated ranks are there repeated numbers are there so first rank so two three four just take average of two three four so that is three so three 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 clear so here it is for five six you just take average of five six so five point five five point five here it is seven we just take seven okay then it is say eight okay eight rank okay so if another move there so eight nine ten so you have to nine point five nine point five if say it is there then here should be the uh, eight nine ten should be the eleven okay so in this way uh, if repeated numbers are there we can convert numbers into the rank okay now just see one simple example the formula for the repeated example repeated ranks is rho is equal to 1 minus 6 into summation of d i is equal to 1 to n plus summation of m j j is equal to 1 to k divided by n into n square minus 1 okay and what is m m m m are nothing but the mm, number of repetitions okay so m i m j so if it is m1 then the formula is uh, okay so it is nothing but like so you have to write like this way m j square minus 1 simple example through which you can convert this into now suppose we have data like this say 68 64 75 50 64 80 75 40 55 64 say so it is x data and y data say 62 58 68 45 81 60 68 48 50 and 70 so we have to convert this into rank so rank x and we have to identify the rank y okay so the first rank first rank here is the 80 maximum one so it is the first rank next rank is 75 75 so 275 are there so 2 and 3 so you have to write 2.5 and 2.5 okay so 75 2.5 next is say 3 so 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 1 2 3 so 2 3 we have over next post so the fourth rank okay now fifth will be so uh, 5 6 and 7 both are okay. seven. so we have to calculate the d value so d is nothing but 4 minus 5 it is minus 1 next minus 1 minus 1 okay minus 1 here 5 minus 5 minus 1 1 8 minus 8 0 6 minus 2 it is 4 clear yeah. so 2 square 1 1 1 1 25 25 1 1 0 and 16 so summation of d square summation of d square is 72 okay now in x series in x series in x series how many repetitions are there so 75 2 times 75 are there so m1 is equal to 2 okay another repetitions are 6 6 and 6 so 
for 64 for 64 m2 is equal to 3 3 time repetitions are there okay now for the y series so for the y series uh, repetitions for 68 68 okay so two time repetitions are there so we can write n3 is equal to 2 okay for 68 so total corrections so total correction will be like that so 2 into 2 square minus 1 by 12 plus 3 into 3 square minus 1 by 12 plus 2 into 2 square minus 1 by 12 and we have to add all this okay so this is nothing but our 5 by 2 this is nothing but our sorry this is not so total summation of these two is 5 by 2 and it is nothing but 1 by 2 okay so summation of these two is 5 by 2 and this is nothing but 1 by 2 so final answer is sigma is equal to 1 minus 6 into d square which is 72 plus 5 by 2 okay plus 5 by 2 plus 1 by 2 divided by number of data set 10 okay how many data are there so 10 see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay so 10 into 10 square minus 1 the answer is 0 0.54 okay so the rank correlation coefficient between two data is this okay so you can say we can see another example repeated with repeated rank suppose x and y the say 64 84 95 95 okay and here 32 38 38 and 90 so the ranks are we can calculate the ranks rank of x rank of y so first rank 1 so 1 to repeat it there so 1.5 1.5 1 2 then 3 then 4 okay now here it is 1 2 2 and 3 so 2.5 2.5 and it is 1 2 3 and 4 okay so d is nothing but so 4 minus 4 0 3 minus 2.5 it is 0.5 1.5 minus 2.5 it is 1 1 5 5 minus 1 it is 0.5 okay so d square is what 0 0.25 1 0.5 okay so the summation of d square is nothing but 1.5 clear now here how many repetitions are there so 2 so m1 is equal to 2 in this series how many repetitions are there so it is 2 so the formula so final answer is sigma is equal to 1 minus 6 into d square okay so d square is nothing but 1.5 plus the correction factor so 2 into 2 square minus by 12 plus 2 into 2 square minus 1 by 12 divided by 4 data are there so 4 1 2 3 4 data are there so 4 into 4 square minus 1 okay so the answer is answer this particular calculation is okay so the rank relation coefficient is 0 0.75 okay and that is the end of this particular video thank you